friends, it's Andy. Welcome back to my channel and welcome to another episode of Stardew Valley um, Myrtle Beach Farm. Let's go ahead and check the weather. It's going to be clear and sunny all day tomorrow as well as clear and sunny on Fern Islands. And the spirits are happy today. That's awesome. Nothing going on on the calendar. Um, let's get some pepper poppers going to speed us up just a little bit. And last playthrough, we tried to get our obelisk for the beach when, oh, let me unfreeze time, when uh, we got trolled by the game because we didn't have enough gold. So um, I am going to take care of that today because uh, we earned enough gold from selling some mushrooms that we should be able to get it. We got a letter from Gus. Uh, Hi, Andy. Just wanted to drop you a quick line to ask you not to mention that I t what I told you to Sophia. I trust you to be discreet. It's important we're on the same page. Looking forward to seeing you at the saloon. No problem, Gus. I told you I wouldn't say anything and I won't. Andy, I'm really craving a fresh apricot. I haven't been able to find one at the store, so I'm asking you. I'll pay you well for it. Emily. No problem. I got you. I have those. Let's say hello to Luna. Hey, Luna. Uh, I want to get these moved out of the way sometime in this playthrough. Say hello to Shrek. Hey, buddy. How many days until this dino is hatched? Eleven days. No problem. So in a couple of episodes. Oh, I just woke up this morning. Gonna go swimming this afternoon, so I thought I'd get some episodes um, recorded in a batch. Um, because I, I like to get them set up ahead of time so I don't have to worry about them. And I'm still a little on the sleepy side, but I do have my Dunkin'. I got my iced coffee that I treat myself to. Um, on Saturday mornings, I like to have my Dunkin' iced coffee, and then to follow that up, I like to get like one of the refreshers. And today I have the strawberry dragon fruit one. It's a little on the sweet side, and I didn't add any sweetener to it, um, but it's really good. Whew. Um, let's say hi to the cows. Or sorry, this one has the piggies in it. And the sheep. Hello, little moo-moos. said hi to everybody. Yeah. I think I can fit... Well, I need to put some grass here. I keep forgetting to do that. Yeah, we need to do that. Thank you. 
Oh man, didn't mean to do that to the tulips. That's okay, let's make some more seeds for tulips. We are going to need to get some more seeds soon. So I definitely need to add a trip to Pierre's onto our to-do list. empty our pockets. Right, so, what I was saying is, um, I'm like semi awake at the moment. <laughs> so hopefully the, the caffeine from the iced coffee that I drank, because I finished that already, will um, wake me up. And uh, I'll be a little bit less sleepy. But anyway, I wanted to I wanted to go ahead and do some playthroughs of Stardew this morning because um, I do film them in bulk ahead of time. So I'm filming this on a Saturday morning. It's like, what is today? It's June 5th. So you probably won't see this until sometime toward the end of next week because um, I like to I like to um, get everything pre-scheduled so I don't have to worry about filming or having a video up. Um, so these videos um, for Stardew, the plan for this month is to have a video up every day. Um, just to make some progress in our playthrough because I really like to dive a little deeper into the 1.5 update. And as long as I keep up with the schedule that I'm doing right now for filming, then we should be okay. I need a couple more of these um, machine thingies. Say one, two, three, four, eight, and then two more here. And maybe one right here. So nine, ten, eleven more. We'll need the wood for them. Okay, so chores are done. Let's sell this mead. Let's go get our obil. Ob I can't say it. You know what we're looking for. Hey, babies, cutie pies. I'll be back. Oh, so I know I have it linked down below. I, I know I'm jumping all over the place, but that's where my mind is like right now and I'm not completely awake, but um, I, I've had it linked down below forever, but 
Uh, should you want to join the Discord server, it's in the description box. You can certainly um, click on the link and join us there. Um, at the moment, it's very inactive. I need to go through and like set up the servers and stuff. So let me know if there's a particular game that you want to have a server set up for. Right now, I have one set up for Stardew and ACNH, but I'd like to break up those two servers into a couple of sections. So like for Stardew, I think I would want to set up a section just for mods so that if you're looking for a specific mod or you have questions on where to find one or what mods are installed in people's games, you can share them in there. Um, I do have a link to a video that I used to teach me how to um, install mods into my game. I have it pinned in the Stardew section of the um, of the Discord, so that if you want to, you can watch that video and learn how to. Um, install the mods into your PC version. Sorry, my mind blinked. Um, you can click on that video and learn how. Um, and then what I'll do is I'll um, list or put up links to the different mods that I have installed into my game once I set up the, the section for the mods. So if you're interested in checking them out, you certainly can. And they'll all be links over to uh, Nexus Mods, which is where I downloaded my mods from. Uh, what is Magnus saying? Olivia certainly has some strange ideas about mysticism. I wonder what they teach her in those yoga classes. I may take her on for some tutelage to make sure she's on the right track. I think she's just trying to, like, align her chakras and whatnot, dude. I don't think she really wants to do magic. Um, but let's, let's give you a present. Ah, oh, this is imbued with potent arcane energies. It's very useful for my studies. Thank you. You're welcome. Okay, Emily wants an apricot. What else would I, I was going to do something. Oh, I need grass and seeds. Okay. Oh, but first... Because I know I'm going to forget to check in here. Oh, I knew it. Alright. I'm thinking that here I can put some more tea saplings. I have them in my other shed. Or the other uh, greenhouse that I have in Grandpa's shed. And I'm thinking it wouldn't hurt to have them in here, too. One of the sheds I'm going to uh, just fill with ancient fruit once I have enough seeds. Um, not quite there yet. Alrighty, let's go put these in our machines. Um, so yeah, like if you want to go and join the Discord server, um, go for it. And let me know if there, like I said, there's anything other than ACNH or Stardew that you guys would like to have a section for. Um, and I will go ahead and set up a server for that. Um... Oh, no, 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 I needed an apricot. Thank you. Um, so that if you guys want to chat about it, you, you have a, a room in which to do so. But right now, I just have those two games because those are the two main games I'm playing. Um, I was going to get an orange for my buddy, Gus. For Gus Gus. But, um, yeah, for Stardew, I just thought it would be fun to have, like, a section where, 
you guys could chat about your farms, like what farm layouts you're doing, if you have any questions on quests and whatnot. Uh, we could help each other out. Or, you know, if you wanted to share a screenshot of what your farm looks like at the moment, you could always do that as well. It looks like there's something there, but there's not. All right, let's just pick up our forageables. I keep forgetting to talk to people. Yeah, I met them. Hey, little dude. Yeah, I have to remember to carry um, snails when I'm out and about for Vincent because he really likes them. Okay. Yay, they're both in here. Here you go, Gus. You're giving this to me? I'm speechless. You're welcome, my dude. I know how much you love your oranges. Yep. Thank you. Need all the monies I can get. And you know what? Let's buy a beer. Coffee. Some chicken for my girl. Um, salad for my other girl. Two coffees. Okay. Here you go, Shane. Oh, wow, Andy. How'd you know this is my favorite? Because I know you like beer. I've really grown attached to Marnie's chickens. Um, like, in a weird way? Or... No, don't drink it. Give it to... This is a fun gift. Thanks. You're welcome. Damn it. I'm too old to do anything exciting anymore. All I have to look forward to is years and years of sweaty hot furnace work. Clint, go to the island. I've opened... I've opened a- oh no, I need to open up the resort. Hey now, this is a really great gift. Thanks. You're welcome, Kent. Jody tells me you've really become a part of this community. I'm glad to hear it. Thank you. We're gonna get Marnie a beer. Here, Marnie. Drink a beer. Thank you. I always see Clint here, but he won't talk to anyone. He just glances over his shoulder now then. That's because he's watching Emily like a creeper. Oh, this is exactly what I wanted. Thank you. You're welcome, Leah. I love to decorate for the different seasons. I know you do. Okay. Oh, you know what? I completed the quest, but I didn't give her a present. So let's just give her a coffee. Thank you. I'm feeling a positive energy from this gift. Uh, yeah, Emily, it's called caffeine. It's life-giving. All right. Let's go. Hopefully we can make it in time. I want to give my boo some chicken. Excuse me, Willie. Sorry, I don't have a present for you. I got to go see a girl about some chicken. Ooh, clay. Oh, I need to build those silos too. I keep forgetting. We have a cutscene. It's our girl. She's doing her thing with the wine. Hey, you. I'm checking my casks. This column here will be aged to iridium quality next month. My mom and dad made them. Oh, girl. Oh. It's okay. Please don't feel bad. Um. Hey, let's head upstairs. I want to tell you a little about my parents. Okay.
Um, this was the room you found me in last time. It's my parents' room. Come inside. I never finished packing and moving their belongings. I guess part of me thought they'd be gone, really gone, if I did. Aw, Sophia. Um, they, my mom and dad, there was a car crash. I, it was the 4th of fall. My parents were on a business trip. They were gone all day and wouldn't answer their phone. It was weird. That evening, there were knocks on the front door. I was greeted by Mary Lewis and Gus with tears in their eyes. They, they told me my mom and dad Oh, you don't have to finish, girl. It's okay, let me hug you. Thanks, I'm okay. You and Scarlett have helped me so much through this. I'm really happy I have friends like you guys. Don't friend zone me, Sophia. <laughs> and you would make my parents proud if I took over the vineyard in their stead. It's a lot of work, but it's all I have left of them. What should I say? You're doing a great job managing the vineyard. I want to do everything I can to help. Let's go with the second one. Aw, you're so sweet. You know, Scarlet used to call me every day. It's nice having someone like you so close by. Grampleton is really far away. Um, I know this may be coming out of nowhere, but I want to restore my parents' room. Do you think you could help me? Yes. Yes, absolutely. I will help you. You'll really help me? Yes, Sophia, I will help you. I am here for you. Oh, she's so happy. Yay! I'm really excited. You're seriously the best. Um, I don't want to push this all on you so suddenly. We'll start organizing stuff tomorrow. Okay. I'm helping Sophia move boxes tomorrow in our house. Okay, so we definitely have to make sure that we come back tomorrow so that we can help Sophia with her parents' room. It'll help her with the moving on process. Ooh, this is one of my favorite things. I'll always treasure it. You're welcome, girl. Ready to help me tomorrow? You're the best. Yes, totally. I'm here. I will help you tomorrow. Um, I did not go to Pierre's. I got sidetracked. It's okay. It is A-OK -okay because we got a cutscene with our girl. I'm curious, what do I need to get the next, um, obelisk? I would really love the one for the island, but I need dragon's teeth for that and bananas, and I'm not anywhere near doing that yet. So the other one would be the earth obelisk, which I think would take us to the mountains. 500,000 gold. We don't have that. 10 iridium bars. We do have 10 earth crystals. We don't have. We need nine more. So maybe hitting up the regular mine would be a good idea. Let's see if we can collect those. 
Fishing so I can get some income. Need that money. Ooh, I should check the greenhouse and grandpa's shed. I need to do that. Because I haven't done that yet. And then at some point, I should go around and collect the forageables since they're now like iridium quality. Whoa, I need to clean up this area. It got messy. Um, and I should get some decent, decent gold for the iridium quality forageables. Yep, how'd I know? How did I know? I had a feeling. Don't mind me. Just, you know, harvesting things. Let's grow some cactus fruit and some star fruit. I will clean this up later. Do 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 do. Allergies are so bad this morning. We are definitely coming along nicely with our farm. Yeah? What do you think? tempted to plant some more trees or something. I don't really need them, but they're pretty decoration, you know? They're kind of not the prettiest during wintertime, but, you know, during the rest of the seasons, they're really pretty. Or I could just plant some wild trees, too. That's something I can do. I don't know, I want to get the rest of my obelisks first before I do that. Um, just so I know the spacing wise of what I want it planned out like. All right, calling that a night. How much gold did we make? Ooh yeah, 77,564. Awesome sauce. Give me one second. I'm gonna refill 
uh, my water bottle. I know I've got my strawberry dragon fruit, but I also need to make sure I hydrate because I'm going to be outside swimming this afternoon and I don't want to get dehydrated. So give me just one second. Okay, back. Sorry. Sorry about that. I won't even edit that out, so you guys can totally, hopefully have used that to get a refill of your drinks, snacks, bathroom break, whatever, because I know these videos are long. Um, all right, let's check the TV. Ah, oh, it's gonna be beautiful and sunny tomorrow. Same for Fern and Islands. I really need to get back there. Spirits are happy. And it was a rerun. We already know how to make pizza. Today is Mayor Lewis's birthday. Uh, what should we give Mayor Lewis? I considered downloading the Taste Helper or the gift taster, whatever the heck that mod is called, where it'll tell you on the birthdays what their favorite thing is. But like, I've got the info suite. All I really need to do is this. So I do have prismatic shards. I can give them that. I'm not giving away my pearl just yet. Um, cheese, coffee, wine, amethyst, apple, apple, Hot. You know, all of that's great and all, but let's give him a loved gift. I'm not particularly a fan of his, but I'm trying to get my max hearts with everybody before I do anything with Sophia. You know? Andy, I have this crazy new idea that I want to involve you in. It's called clothing therapy. Please come to the mayor's house today to see what it's all about. Emily. Okay, but I gotta take care of my girl first. So let's take care of my chores. And then we'll go visit Sophia. And then we'll get some... Uh, will we get seats? We kind of need to get seats. Hi, little dude. He's so cute. I love the dinosaurs, they're adorable. Hello, hello. Yes, yes, hello. No, don't sell. I wish there was a way to keep that screen from popping up. Uh, do you have any goods for me? You do, how sweet. Hello. So I really love this uh, cute animal mod that I have that makes my chickens and my cows a little chubbier. But I'm thinking of, because it doesn't cover like the other animals, I'm thinking of doing the, um, 
I think it's the L new animal mod or something like that. Um, just so that they can all have a new look to them and it's not just specific animals that are getting it. So I might do that at some point. Hello. In case you're wondering, I do have the mod that will automatically open the animal doors so I don't forget to let them out. Um, but I should really set it at a later time to give me enough time to get around to saying hi to everybody. You know? I already said hi to Bedia. Come out! Come out! It's okay, you can come out. I'm just, I know I missed one of you. Did I? There we go, that's the one I missed. Hi Daisy. Bye. Have a good day, y'all. Have a good day. Collecting my potatoes. No! I did it again. I don't mean to... To do that. Ooh. I'm gonna save that for the luau. I know that everybody says to do a gold cauliflower, but like... I'd rather do a potato. Because I like potatoes. Oh man, we need seeds. We are in need of seeds, my friends. Okay, we're getting distracted. Hold up. should also see if there's honey in here for me. There is. Woohoo. I know there's a train, but guess what? I'm not going. I won't make it in time. Wrong shed. I do wish that I had the ability to put a sign on the shed where, you know how it, sees, it says storage? I wish I could put on there like preserves or uh, kegs, but I don't. I guess I could put a sign outside the shed to let me know, but I really like my flowers there, so I don't know. I just don't know. My nose is tickling like I need to sneeze. If I go on mute, that's why. Just, just to let you know, if I go on mute, it's because I felt the need to sneeze. Put that in there. higher quality ones these um, let's give that to our girl let's put the wine away before I forget I know that if I end up finding Mary Lewis in his house, I'm gonna get stuck with Emily's scene. And that will take up like the majority of my day. 
so let's go see Sophia first because she is definitely a priority over Emily and Lewis. Wrong way. Oh, you're here. Of course I'm here. Let's get to work. I also made some snacks for us later. Oh, she made us food. She does like us. Sophia and I cleaned and organized her parents' room. The snacks she made were delicious. Of course they were, because she made them. I think that's everything. Um, thanks for helping me. I can't begin to tell you just how much this means to me. Yay, we made her happy. Hey, I'm going to send you something really special in the mail tomorrow. Oh, you didn't have to do that. Thanks so much again. You're welcome, girl. You're welcome. I got you. Why am I laughing? I'm such a weirdo. Okay. We need to give her her present. Is she home? She's not home. Where is she at? Is she outside and I missed her? Girl, where you at? Oh, is she downstairs? Yeah, I can't go in there. Okay. Maybe I'll catch her around town, because sometimes she's out and about. Let's get our seeds. Oh, where am I going? What happened? Why am I at Clint's? Ah, oh, hello there. Phew, I'm finishing up an iridium-infused sword for a monster hunter from Castle Village. You might have heard of him. He goes by the name Scyther. Castle Village is home to the best monster slayers and artisans in the region. Excuse you, I'm the best. I am the best, Clint. I have contracts with various guilds in Ferngill Republic to provide custom-crafted weapons, shields, and armor. That's nice. It's not much, but it's an honest work. How come you never made mine except for my initial tools? Right now I'm not getting any orders from the Adventurers Guild here in Stardew Valley. That's because I had to find mine inside the mines. I had to risk my life, Clint. My life. When there were more members, there was a steady demand for new weapons. The guild used to be a lot bigger, but they're They've lost some good people over the years. Because it's dangerous, man. It is dangerous. The summit has gotten crowded. Uh, sorry, Andy. I didn't mean to bring that up, especially with you being a guild member and all. Uh, what should I say? We all accepted the risks when we joined. I didn't know any of them. I visited their graves and paid my respects. We'll go with the first one. I look up to you, Adventurer Guild members. You keep everyone safe from monsters. That's right. Andy, you've made excellent strides in protecting the valley from monsters while also building up an impressive farm. I envy that. Eh, all in a day's work. I'm not brave enough to fight monsters, but I do what I can to ensure the safety of those who do. That's why I pride myself on my smithing work. Smithing? Smithing? How do you say that? 
I know I'm a bit awkward sometimes, Andy, but thanks for stopping by. I need to get back to finishing this sword. I'll see you next time you drop by, or maybe at the saloon. Yeah, I'll see you around, Clint. You should really sell the weapons in your shop, dude. Or give me the option to order some. Right? Wouldn't that be a cool addition to Stardew? I think so. Okay, not going into there yet. I need seeds. I need seeds so bad. Give me some seeds, woman. Oh man. These cutscenes. His secret stash of what? <laughs> What's Pierre got? Hey, who's in the bedroom? Not me. Oh man. Caught red handed. What? How did you find that? Um, cause I'm nosy. Quick, give it to me. You don't have to be rude about it. Promise me you won't tell anyone about this. Your secret's safe with me. Your wife deserves to know about this. What is it? Is it porn? <laughs> is it... Is it... Is it weed? What is it? Thanks, I appreciate that. Just forget you ever saw this, okay? And I'll just forget that you were snooping around in my bedroom. Well, I mean, the door was open, dude, so... Now I have to find a new hiding spot. You could share. I don't know what it is, but you could share. Aw, George. George is praying. Hi, Andy. You caught me in the middle of praying. I don't normally get this close to the altar, but I've had a bad day and I need some guidance. Aw, George, we'll come visit you. We'll give you uh, a leak. You like leaks. Um, I'll leave you to your prayers, dude. I'm so sorry. Did not mean to interrupt you. Let me get my seeds. Uh, 12 days. We have time. Let's do some cauliflower. Anything we don't use, I'll just have it in stock for next season. Um, let's do some garlic. Grass. I keep saying I need grass and I keep forgetting to get it. Uh, 100 is good. A bouquet. We're not ready for that yet. I mean, we are, but we're not. <gasps> Girl, there you are. I really appreciate your help with my mom and dad's room. You're welcome. It looks exactly what it used to be like. Oh, you're welcome. Here, here, here. Oh, this is one of my favorite things. I'll always treasure it. You're welcome. It's because I love you, boo. That's why. That's generous of you. You're welcome. You're so kind, thanks. You're welcome. Can you ask? I think that's his little brother. If he had breakfast, he didn't answer me. Um, dude. No. There's a few people in town who visit the Yoba altar on Sundays. I stopped believing in Yoba a while ago. Girl, I never started, so we're on the same page. Today, I'm just going to relax and think positively. Good. That's good. Do you ever take the day off? You know what? No, but I didn't get you presents, so... Let me just dive into my present bin. Let's go to spring seeds. We'll deposit these here so I don't accidentally drop them. Quests and gifts. Let's see. We need one of these. We need... Let's just take some flower, sunflowers out. And um, that one and that one 
and we'll take one of these out and one of these out. It'll just be a day of giving gifts, man. People will love me for it. Okay. All right. I want to give you this one. Oh, goodness. Are you sure? Yes, I am. You take that. George, here you go, buddy. This is my favorite thing. Thank you. You're welcome. I love you. You're my friend. Do you like these? Thank you. This makes my day really special. Oh, Jody, I'm so glad I can make your day better. I had a dream that I had complete freedom, no obligation to anyone but myself. Then I woke up and realized I have a full I had a full house Oh, a full day of house chores ahead of me. Um yeah. Been there, girl. Been there. Um What about you? Do you like these? You're giving this to me? This is great. Thank you, Andy. You're welcome. Greetings, Andy. I hope the day is treating you well. It is, thanks. Thank you, thank you. Um, actually, the easier thing would be to see. Claire and Haley love it. Uh, a whole bunch of people like it. Um, Ken likes some. Okay, let's give one to Ken, because we didn't give him anything. Hey now, this is a really great gift. Thanks. You're welcome. What about you? This ain't that bad. Thank you for the kindly gift. You're welcome, Andy. If you want to learn more about Yoba, consider coming to worship on Sundays. I don't actually, but thanks. Um. Oh, another cutscene. Who is this? Aw, it's my girl. She looks so happy. Sophia, come back again soon, okay? I love doing makeup with you. Aw, you know what? I like it when Haley's nice. I would love that. I feel great. Scarlet, you're so silly. Oh, she's on the phone. Today is a good day. Hmm, I'm kind of hungry. Sophia, my dear. You look beautiful today. She looks beautiful every day, okay, Olivia? Thanks, Miss Jenkins. Maybe Gus has orange chicken. Gus totally has orange chicken. Go get yourself some orange chicken, girl. Sophia. Hi, Gus. I know exactly what you're here for. Grampleton orange chicken coming right up. She's so excited. A girl that's excited about her food. I'm telling you, it's like she's my, my soulmate. So yummy. Doggo? Yes, go pet the doggo. Ah, oh, Dusty, he's so happy. Want some pets? Ah, oh, Sophia pets Dusty. Dusty looks so cute. You're so cute. Hey, 
Hey you! I'm in the middle of reading manga. Um... I'm getting out of the house more. I think spending time with other people helps me. Good. That's good. Hey, I want to show you this page. You'll get a laugh out of it. Sophia showed me funny pictures in the manga book. We laughed and talked about her day. She's happier than ever. Oh, that makes me so happy. Our girl is happy. That makes me happy. What was I going to do? Oh. Oh my, it looks wonderful. That's very kind of you. You're welcome, Granny. It's nice to be so close to the ocean. The sound of the sea makes going to sleep a lot easier. You know, I agree. I like to listen to the sea, to the ocean sound sometimes. This is a super gift. Thank you. You're welcome, Maru. Hi. Do you have fun working on the farm? Yes, I do. Well, that's good, isn't it? Yes, it is. Um, cloth for you. This gift is fabulous. Thank you so much. You're welcome. This house ha was left in our care by our parents. They've been traveling the world for the last two years. We have no idea when they'll be back. Well, hopefully soon. I know Haley misses them. Uh, okay. Is Haley home? No. Alright. She's probably up by the park. She likes to go up there. So, first off, sunflower for you. Thank you, this looks special. You're welcome. Hello, um, the weather's interesting today, don't you think? Sure. Uh, Jojo Cola for you. Thanks, I really like this. You're welcome. Oh, it's a nice day, isn't it? Uh, sure. A snail for my buddy, Vincent. Wow, thank you so much. This is terrific. You're welcome. Hi there, miss. Hi. Um, let's go find Haley and then we'll go to Mayor Lewis's house. Oh, I bet... Do you like these? Thank you, Andy. This is nice. You're welcome. Hey there, farmer. Hey there. I know you like these. This is great. Thanks. You're welcome. No, I was trying to say... Uh, Oh, you're busy. Okay. <gasps> Haley, here you go. Oh my god, this is my favorite thing! You're welcome. My sister is so weird. Sometimes I wonder if we're actually related. Uh, yeah, I wonder if you guys are related too, because you're so different. <laughs> She's likable, and you're kind of not, except when you're nice to my girl, so I guess there's that. Do you like these? This is cool, thanks. You're welcome. You're a good boy, Dusty. Ready for a treat? I'll give Dusty all the treats because he is a good boy. I love Dusty. Okay, let's park our horse here. Oh, here we go. Welcome to clothing therapy. You're probably wondering what is clothing therapy. I'll try to explain. So, many of us are struggling with personal issues, things holding us back from living how we want. It's important to me that everyone has a free and happy life, so I came up with a new kind of therapy to help people achieve that. It's based on the amazing power of self-expression. Self-expression is a wonderful healing tool, did you know that? Behind this curtain, you'll find racks and racks of clothes. There's endless options to choose from. Your job is simple. Find the outfit that truly speaks to you and put it on. Feel confident in yourself and your choice. You'll have a unique style to share with the world. Shane, you're up first. Oh man, my beverages are almost gone. It's all the talking. Um. Ah, Andy, you're just in time. Just observe and keep an open mind, okay? Sure thing. Uh, Shane, 
Wow. I don't, I have no words. I don't know what to tell you, dude. Shane, it's a new side of you we've never known about. Known about. They, that's great. Well, I can't talk. Now go outside with confidence and show the world. Okay, everyone gets a turn. <laughs> Clint's like, oh no. Wow. Let's see what Demetrius thinks. <laughs> um, okay. how she's all like dressed up as a as a knight Clint you're up okay Emily I'll do it chill out Clint it's just clothes it's not a big deal He's so awkward. Aw, oh, cute. Ugh. Dude, what were you expecting? <laughs> uh, well, that went very well. I just hope this experience helps everyone break out of their shells a bit. Uh... You're in my bubble, Emily. Andy, um... I couldn't do it. I don't want to break out of my shell. <laughs> okay. Oh, I, I guess I'm interrupting something here, aren't I? Clint, don't be a... douchebag. I understand. I'll leave now. Congrats. Congrats on what, man? Seriously. I don't like Clint. I don't like his attitude toward Emily either. She's not a prize to be won. And I have my heart set on somebody else anyway. Do you like flowers? That's such a nice gift, thank you. You're welcome. Hmm, I'm struggling to make ends meet. I don't have enough patience. I guess I should try to get patience from neighboring towns. Yeah, you should. Maybe Lewis is in the saloon. That's where I would be on my birthday. Wait, you don't like my flower? Well, you can just shove it, man. I don't like you anyway. I'm just trying to be a good neighbor. You did good with this one, kid. Thanks. You're welcome, Pam. Pam seems out of it. Better leave her alone right now. Pam, you need to stop drinking, girl. Seriously. Andy, this is a beautiful gift. Thank you. You're welcome, Elliot. A.K.A. Fabio. Hello, I hope your new farming life is panning out as you hoped. It is, thanks. Thank you so much. Um, Lewis, where are you, my dude? Where are, oh. Let's give him a beer first, because I gave his present away. Uh, where is Lewis? You know what? Let's see if he appears on her map. Lewis, where you at, dude? Oh, you're up there. Okay. 
There you are. Happy birthday. A birthday gift? That's very kind of you. I love it. I've been mayor of Pelican Town for over 20 years. Yeah, there's... There needs to be a change in that, but I don't know how to do that. <laughs> no one ever runs against me when it's time for an election. I like to think that it means I'm doing my job well. Actually, it's just because nobody wants to deal with the mess you've created. Let's be honest. If I watch more TV, maybe I can forget about life. That could be relaxing. This is a great... Oh, this is great. Thanks. You're welcome, Shane. I'm glad you like my flower. Unlike Clint, who is a douchebag. We don't like Clint. His attitude needs adjusting. I like this. Thank you. You're welcome, Maddie. Today is the only day that I'm free. Well, I hope you had a wonderful day then. Uh, Sebi, I know we're not, you know, pursuing you in this save file, but I have a froggy for you. I know how much you love those. Here. I love you. I really love this. How did you know? Because I stalk you in another save file. We're almost going to, like, start dating soon. It's okay. I usually stay inside, but I do get to the be go to the beach now and then. Pretty much only when it's raining, though. For some reason, staring off into the bleak horizon makes me feel, I don't know, like it's worthwhile to keep pushing on, I guess. Whatever floats your boat, my dude. You're so emo. I love you. Okay, bye. Uh, Linus. Hey, buddy. Have a cactus fruit. This is wonderful. You've really made my day special. Oh, you're welcome, buddy. It would be nice if the townspeople could accept me for who I am. I think so, too. I think they should just accept you because you're harmless and you're really great to the environment and to the community. I like living out here in the open air. That's what they don't understand. Well, sadly, people don't understand... And therefore, they tend to, like, not accept what they don't understand. People don't like different, and that's what's wrong with the world. Oh, we have a cutscene. Uh, he should stop smoking. It is unhealthy, but uh, we're just going to say, hey, how are you doing? Hey, jerk, why are you ignoring me? Everything all right? Aw, oh, that's totally cool, Subby. I get it. Uh, look, I have a lot on my mind right now. I just wanted to be alone to think outside. No problem. But maybe, I guess talking to someone might help. I am also here. Whatever you need to talk about, you can talk to me. You don't have to go to Sam or Abigail. I'm right here. I had a... A horrible nightmare last night about my dad, not Demetrius, my biological father. I try not to think about him at all. It only brings back bad memories. There's a reason my mom divorced him. Oh, Sebi. Oh, Sebi. Oh. His story always gets me in my feels, too. Um, he was abusive, a drunk and a gambler. Whenever he lost money, he'd take it out on mom and me. Took all of her savings and gambled it away. I was too young to remember a lot of the details. My mom told me when I got older. Eventually, mom had enough. She was sick and tired of him stealing everything from us, so she hid our money. He... He didn't like that. I do remember that part. He was horrible when he got mad. Well, oh, sorry. We'll never see him again. Good riddance. Good riddance indeed, my dear. You deserve so much better. I don't know why I'm telling you this. I haven't told anyone about my dad, not even Maru. 
Maru. Maru, Maru. Huh. But you know what? I feel like a 20 ton weight has been lifted off my chest and I can breathe again. I'm so glad I could help you. I've been feeling awful about this for a long time. Aw, oh, Sebi. I listened to most of what you were saying. That's awful. Why would you select that? No, we're going to go with you've gone through so much in life. Gonna ponder for a little while longer. Still a lot I need to process. No problem, Sebi. Thanks for talking to me. Anytime, my friend. Anytime. We're only friends in this save file. But, you know, I marry you in a different one. Because I love you. But this time around, Sophia has my heart, so we'll just be friends. We'll be besties. Unless I install the multiple spouses mod, then I can have both Sevi and Sophia. Okay, now that's a lot of work. <laughs> what the heck is Abigail doing? I guess you're wondering why I'm in the graveyard at this hour. Uh, yeah. Well, I'm here because it's the best place in town to find some privacy. And I'm all sweaty because I've been practicing my swordmanship. Abigail is like a wannabe guild member. <laughs> hey, what? You think I'm too weak to swing a blade? Uh... Nah, I just, I, I don't think you'd last very long in the mines, that's all. Sorry, I guess I'm getting a little defensive. You see, I want to explore the mountain caves, but I know it's too dangerous to go there unarmed. You've used a sword before, haven't you? Yes, and it's exciting, yes, but only in self-defense, yes, but it's dangerous, you should stay safe. We'll go with only in self-defense. Sure, I don't want to kill anything either. I just want to do a little exploring without risking my neck. I've lived in the valley my whole life, but I've never really done anything memorable. I want to go on an adventure. You should go talk to your biological dad. He can take you on an adventure. Uh, Abigail. Dad? I've been looking all over for you. Your mother wants you to come home and help with dinner. What are you doing in the graveyard anyway? This is no place for a young lady. Uh, Pierre. I'm here too, dude. Mind your own business. You think I should be at home cooking dinner because I'm a girl, don't you? You're really stuck in the past, Dad. Let's get out of here, Andy. Uh, um, well, are you coming or not? I guess so. You're kind of bossy, and I don't like it. You could say please. Okay, my dad won't find us here. <sighs> Can you believe my parents were ever young? They don't understand my perspective at all. I know, I know, they grew up in a different area, or not area, in a different era with different values. It still ticks me off sometimes, okay? You could learn how to communicate better though, Abigail. You've got a bit of an attitude. <laughs> well, thanks for hearing me out, Andy. Um, now, could you help me untangle my hair from this bush? Uh, sure. Since we were giving out gifts today, we appear to, uh, have increased our relationship with some people, which is why we're getting all these cutscenes. Okay, okay.
don't mind me just collecting my goods. Yep. Gotta make back some of that money I spent today. Oh, we did good with the gift giving. Oh, wrong one. In here. More kegs! Yeah, yeah. Oh, went a little too far there. I am slowly filling up this shed with the kegs. Slowly but surely. sell my cheese. Almost done. Alrighty, looking at the time, we'll go ahead and call the episode here. Uh, I hope you enjoyed all those cutscenes. That was a lot of talking. I need to refill all my drinks because I am so thirsty now. Um, but let's go ahead and chat down below in the comments. Let me know how your week has been going. And uh, as always, thank you so much for watching and I will see you all in the next episode. Bye.